maybe five minutes ago we arrived very close to the Azov Stahl. Uh, we have witnessed, and you can hear, uh, constant fighting is apparently ongoing in Azov Stahl plant. Uh, according to a couple of soldiers we spoke with, which didn't want to uh, talk into the camera to us, they told us uh, that they are storming uh, the Azov Stahl plant and they hope that in the next week or two they will uh, well take over control of, in the, of the entire plant. As you can see all the buildings around me are totally destroyed. The Azov Stahl is a huge plant which covers 11 square kilometers. From my, my further left to the further right we are not allowed to come any closer uh, because of the orders of the commanding officer of the entire operation uh, right there. What we know and what we have seen is that the Russian Air Force is actively bombarding this area, the Azovstal, the Azovstal plant. The remaining of the city, the remaining part of uh, Mariupol apparently lives as normal as possible. There is a lot of people in uh, in the streets and people are trying to, well, uh, try to do anything uh, with their own lives, to continue their, their normal lives. You can hear, it has sounded very, very strong explosions and it is an ongoing battle. What is interesting is that people there, uh, people in, in Mariupol, almost don't care about that. They didn't even blink when they hear such a loud explosions. They just continued their daily lives. Unfortunately, they were used to it because for two months the, the fighting were ongoing here in Mariupol. This, what we can hear now, it is so-called AGS-17. It is only directed for the, for the infantry. It means that somebody from Azovstal is firing back as well to uh, to the surrounding troops. So once again, we arrived very close to the Azovstal plant. We are not allowed to come any closer uh, because of the orders of the commanding officer of the troops, which are uh, now uh, laying a siege on on Azovstal. A lot of bombardment is ongoing, and we have witnessed also bombardment from the Russian. Uh, Air Force, which dropped. We haven't seen any aircraft because it is very cloudy, but we uh, we witnessed a lot of, of uh, bombs exploded after the aircraft flew over Azovstal and flew over Mariupol.